What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kai. And James. And today we got some crazy stuff planned for you guys. As you know, League of Legends World Championship 2017 has started. Plans are well underway. We'll give you a sneak peek at how that's going. And of course, Overwatch, Diva, Mercy Changes are now live on the ground. We'll tell you about how that's going. That's right. And today we have our very first celebrity interview with Overwatch Grandmaster player Bashad, aka Aesthetics. Uh, he's here in the studio. He's going to be giving us some insight on how to climb the ladder and how to up your game. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out the itinerary down below. Skip to your favorite segments. And with all that being said, let's go! As you know, the play-in for the 2017 World Championship for League of Legends is well underway. This gives 12 teams across the globe an additional chance to secure the last four spots in the World Championships. Uh, taking a look at the current standings, you can see that World Elite from the LPL are dominating Group A. Cloud9 are dominating Group B with a 4-0 record. That's where our vote's going to be at. And of course, Riot has released a list of the top 20 players you should keep your eyes peeled at at the World Championships. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that list right behind me. As you can see, Doublelift is bringing up the rear of that list at number 20. And of course, all the way at the top, it's Faker City Supreme. Let us know what your thoughts are at, if that list should be changed or not, if it's going to be proven wrong, in the comments down below. And whether you like it or not, Ezreal Jungle is here to stay. He's already proven his worth in multiple games in the play-ins, and uh, if unless there's a patch or anything like that, he's probably going to be a really strong pick, highly contested pick at the World Championships. Now, rumor had it, and you might have heard as well, that Riot may be looking to either expand or contract the NALCS for the year 2018, uh, either increasing the teams to 12 or reducing it down to 8. Riot has since squashed those rumors, confirming that the 2018 NALCS will only have 10 teams. And of course, if you haven't already heard, Star Guardian event has concluded this past week. If you haven't already cashed in your Starlight tokens, make sure you get all that done by October the 16th or they'll be useless. Alright, jumping right in Hearthstone. Here we have the Trinity Series, a Hearthstone Team League. Uh, they have a pool prize of $150,000, so we'll be on the lookout for that. Now, congratulations are in order for Purple for winning the 2017 America's Summer Playoffs. Now, the tournament was a little bit crazy, a few mishaps that went on. There was uh, some DDoS attacks and equipment failures. Uh, for, unfortunately, some players were affected by it, uh, but they said they are looking into some hopefully major improvements before the next tournament hits. And also, we talked about it in the last episode about the nerfs that were coming to some Hearthstone cards. The nerfs are now live. If you haven't played yet, go try it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Make sure you scoop up Overwatch while it's currently on sale. Currently the standard edition is $10 off at $29.99. And the Game of the Year edition is currently $20 off going for $39.99. And of course the patch that we've all been waiting for is finally here. And with the release of that patch of course it's Junkertown. Junkertown is a payload map where the third point is obnoxiously hard to cap. The reason for this being is that there's a back-end alley right at that third point where either team can flank each other with incredible ease, making it a wild card. And of course, D.Va got released as well. Uh, as you know, her defensive matrix, which was considered highly oppressive, has been reduced to drain at twice the speed that it previously did. And to compensate for this, Blizzard has provided her with a couple of micro-missiles, if you will, to kind of buffer a little bit. Overall, she feels like a nerf. And uh, I definitely say D.Va players have seen less play. But of course, the character that we've all been wondering about, Mercy, has been changed as well. I personally thought that with her ability, or lack of now, to revive an entire team once they die, uh, with that being taken away, that we would see a dip in her gameplay. But I have seen a Mercy in 100% of my games since that patch. 
This is because her res being on a 30 second cooldown is actually incredible, especially if your Widow gets a pick and she just swoops right in there and revives him and flies right back out. That's actually really obnoxious as well. And uh, let's not forget about her ultimate where as soon as she ults, her cooldown on Resurrect gets refreshed, meaning she can revive somebody, ult, instantly have another revive, and then every 10 seconds after that, that cooldown will come off ability, uh, actually making it really good for her to continuously pocket one character. And of course, with Mercy losing the invulnerability while she's resing, it makes it much, much more rewarding for an enemy team to uh, kill her when she's swooping in for that sick revive. And of course, Overwatch contenders is currently in their playoffs. We got four teams in NA and four teams in EU. Uh, they're going to be playing on October the 7th and 8th. Make sure you peep them out at Twitch. We'll have a link to that down below. And here you can see a list of the standings in North America. Uh, these teams will be playing against each other. And of course, down here in Europe, uh, you can see the list of teams that are also going to be playing against each other as well. Overwatch Open Division is finally here as well. If you placed in Master last season, which is uh, 3500 or more, this is your chance to shine. This is where you can prove yourself. You can kind of compete and don't let your dreams be dreams out there, kids. Don't do it. Overwatch League, which has been announced for months, is finally underway. Uh, not yet, of course, but in January the 10th of 2018. That's right, next year. Uh, that's the official start date, so make sure you stay tuned for that down below. And we're going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen, with the special wildcard news for you. If you didn't know this already, Malaysia, that's right, you heard me, Malaysia, halfway across the globe, they have announced their first professional all-female Overwatch team. Now, I know a few of you out there are going to be very interested in that, along with my buddy James. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll have more news coming. Switching over to CSGO, the ESL won New York 2017. Congrats to FaZe Clan, winning their grand final matchup against Team Liquid, stealing away that $125,000 prize money. And also, in the E-League CSGO Premier 2017, that's currently underway. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the standings. Taking a look through groups A, B and C. You can see the strongest contenders so far FaZe Clan, Team North, and Cloud9. Alright, what's good guys? Uh, welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in. This week we have a very, very special guest for you today. Uh, I know a lot of you out there, you tune into the video games, you kind of want to know, you know, how to get better, how to get better, uh, what kind of things I got to do to improve. Well, today we managed to acquire a live specimen, a live GM specimen. For those of you who don't know what GM stands for, it's Grand Master, um, aka number ranked 501. We got him today. It's Bashad. Bashad, if you want to say a little bit something. Yeah, my name is Bashad. Uh, I'm a... Overwatch player, uh, high high master GM. Uh, my name is Aesthetics. If you've played with me, you probably know me. I uh, play a lot of McCree. He's my favorite hero. But I play, I play a lot of everything, really. And uh, today we're just going to be talking about um, Overwatch, the future of the game, how I right. think it's going to end up, a little bit about the, about the meta currently, and see what you guys can do to get uh, better at the game. But before we go on, uh, just real quick, can I shake the hand of a... Of a grand, of course, yeah. Oh my goodness! I, hey, did y'all see I that? Mean, I mean, this is the hand that shaped the head um, of a GM. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get started on your opinion. So I know a lot of us out there, we're just average Joes. We can't, uh, we can't, you know, have any claims to fame of being able to play with Calvin and the <laughs> names of what's not. So for for the average Joe like myself, like I'm currently stuck in gold right now, and and, and it's it's kind of it's kind of hell over here. Um, what kind of champions do you recommend me to play to, to climb out of that and get to your level? I mean, really, Overwatch is such a fantastic game because you could really play any character and you could climb as long as you mm. master that character. Okay. Like, I've played with so many Symmetra mains, so many Tor mains that are 4,400 plus. What? In the last, they I only really play love? Symmetra. Oh, my They goodness. only play Symmetra. Like, there's a guy, his name is Nut, uh, exclamation mark, Nut. <laughs> yeah, he's a great player, only plays Symmetra. Okay. Uh, so, really, so I have a chance. Yeah, you can really play any hero. You just have to master that hero, okay. know what to do in certain situations. However, um, if you want a good starting hero, I'm going to always say the vanilla answer. 
Soldier 76. Easy, easy. Yes! He's got self-healing. He's got high damage output. Doing something uh, right. Yeah, I mean. But another one, Tracer. A little bit more high skill ceiling. But She's I so will, hard to play. I want to say lower ranked players, they really don't know how to play against her. Like, let's say you're playing yeah. against a Zenyatta. It's a free kill. If you, oh. you one-clip that Zenyatta, he's dead. Oh, you're a man. backline destroyer as Tracer, and that's who I'd recommend as well. I'm not that great of a Tracer player, like I said. So, I play hit scan, hit scan and tank. I flex, uh, but I but I would recommend Tracer, Soldier, Tracer, Soldier. Um, yeah. Okay. Probably. Okay, and uh, so I think I'm doing something right. Soldier 76 main right here. <laughs> it sounds like you're an uh, OG of the game. You played in season one, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, and I've you, been you playing got since release. Since yeah, release, okay. Yeah, release, yeah. And you got placed uh, in uh, high platinum diamond. Uh, yeah. Being for such an OG like yourself, so you obviously you know the big names such as like you know Calvin, DeFran, oh, uh, yeah. S4. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whenever you play uh, on Twitch and you're playing, you know, streaming for your folks, uh -huh. um, who are, who are some of the top players you always play? Like you make a name uh, for when you I get mean, in the game, you just shout insults at each other. Oh, like you know I mean, each other. when I see Sinatra, he's honestly one of my favorite players. Sinatra oh, is one of my Calvin's rank one, one right? Yeah, he's oh, rank goodness. one right now. Uh, Calvin is my, one of my favorite players as well, but Shout he plays on that. He plays on that West Coast server, so unfortunately, I I, I really don't see him. Okay. But Sinatra, I play with him a lot. Zombs, he's another Zombs. great player. Um, he's a Zenyatta main. No, Zombs. He plays Tracer. He's a Zom DPS oh, main. Oh, yeah, yeah. DPS main. Okay, okay. Yeah, Zombs is a really good player. I forgot what team play he plays for, but uh, he's another good one. Dante, I've played against. Dante, awesome player. Uh, DPS. Yeah, I mean these players. That's the thing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a low GM. My peak has been 4226 in 42, all of my seats. Okay. So I wouldn't call myself the best player in the world. However, He's there's such modest. a huge skill di discrepancy between these guys like Zoms and Sinatra. I mean, oh wow! Like I I play McCree, and when Sinatra or Zoms they're playing Tracer, it's hard for me to get a flashbang. But up when I hard. I've seen you on Twitch now aesthetics and. Sometimes when you go off, you're just absolutely nuts. Like, oh, you make yeah, these plays yeah. that I think Calvin would be impressed of. Uh, yeah. I credit that to, like, just... Like, Paw uh, Champ. Yeah, I credit that to just the hours of I played the game. Uh, but let's... Uh, you got some low moments, too. Let's... let's yeah, not, yeah, you got these low everyone, moments. Everyone, everyone has a... <laughs> mega low. Everyone has a bot moment where they're a bot. <laughs> like, I'll be, like... I'll be holding my left click as McCree <laughs> missing every shot on a point-blank target. It happens to everyone. Just, just so that if these people kind of want to follow you, they want to watch you on Twitch, if they want to follow your social media, what's the best way that they can get in touch with you and make sure they stay in uh, touch with one of their favorite players? Of course, yeah. Uh, you can you can follow me at twitch.tv uh, at aesthetics underscore ow. That is my uh, URL, and uh, I have a Twitter as well, and I have an Instagram that I never post on. But uh, I will I'll get on that soon. If you guys do want to follow my stream. Follow my Twitter. I would truly appreciate it. I would love to connect with my fans on a on a one on one level. I mean, I'm at a, I'm at a low level right now. Not much people know me besides the, the Overwatch community and the higher ranks. Mm -hmm. So I would I would really appreciate it if you guys step stop by and say hello. Absolutely. Make sure you check out his stream. We'll include it down in the links below it as well as put it on our uh, images that are later in the video. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you give my boy a shout out and we'll get you some of those nutty plays. All right. Bye guys. All right. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you had as good of a time as we did. That's right. And if you have any questions, uh, drop them down in the comments below. And if you have any ideas on what you might want to see in the future, definitely let us know. We'll try to get it out to you. And of course, huge shout out to our boy uh, Aesthetics Overwatch. That's uh, Twitch slash Aesthetics underscore OW. And of course, make sure you follow his Twitter and his Instagram. We're going to go ahead and put all that information down in the information below. Shout out to our boy DJ Mapsion. You heard some tunes that he uh, he played for us on the previous couple of episodes. A huge shout out to him. Make sure you follow his SoundCloud. Get his name out there. That's right. And without further ado, we got to go. <laughs> than a lousy gamer. Subscribe right now, it's a big no-brainer. According to change, is a big disclaimer. Kai is insane, but Nick's insaner. This is where gamers get a big XP. Kai is into Nick, we guarantee. Never miss a video, you'll soon see. There's no BS in the SEP.